Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do a video talking about the H17FX driver, the Dr. Jones driver that you'll see in custom flashlights. And I wanted to show you guys how to program it, uh, try to answer any questions that I had that I struggled to find answers for online, and just kind of try to put a guide out there. There's already some of these out there, but maybe this one will add a little bit, maybe not, we'll see. This is the uh, La Lima Metalcraft uh, Ion Slim flashlight in titanium. We are rocking a 14500 battery that I will need to swap out because I've been, I did the review and I've just been using it a lot. So um, after this video, I'll swap it out. But anyway, um, for the purposes of this video, you really don't need to know what the light is or anything. You just need to know that it's, the Dr. Jones driver, and this has a forward clicky because that will make a difference if you're programming. Uh, when I say tap, I mean a half press, a tap. If I say click, I mean a full click. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys, tap, click. Um, the instructions are all over the internet. You can go to Mountain Electric, you can go to any of the custom makers, like I'm on La Lima Metalcraft's website right now, and anyone who has the driver in it should have these copy and pasted directions. They're all the same. Um, so if you want to pause and read any of this because you can't look it up, here you go. This is just a description. And then down here is the actual configuration. Starting right here. Okay. And that would be the end of the driver. So, or the instructions. So, what they say here is steps 1 to 16 are strongly, strongly profit from the higher efficiency at true lower current. So, what I get from that is... When you're changing brightness, because you can change the brightness on any mode, it's really cool. You choose from one of 24 steps. So basically, sublumen or whatever you call it, moonlight, uh, whatever, up to 24, which is turbo, right? And what he's saying is anything from 16 down is more efficient, which to me means it's probably not going to heat up as much. It's going to be better on your battery, etc. Anything 16 up is going to be a lot less efficient. Burn your battery, heat up the flashlight. So, you know, that's just something to note. Now, this is not going to tell us lumens because you could put this driver in anything, right? So, it basically gives you percentages. So you have 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0.14, right? Uh, I don't even know if it's percentages. Maybe it's just, uh, it says current percentage. I don't know. But it goes up to 100%, right? So, I don't know. It's obviously not the percentage, I don't think, that I'm thinking of. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Point is, if you're setting it, I tried to set my my medium basically to the 16th step 15 or 16 so that way i'm still in that efficient range and then i have a uh, turbo that goes all the way to 23 or 24. Um, <clears throat> the way you get into programming mode with the dr jones driver is you do eight rapid taps now the key thing to remember here because this is where i struggled I would get into programming mode, and then when I was trying to program, I would tap just as quickly. And you don't need to, and honestly, you shouldn't. So you just want to do the rapid taps to get into programming mode. Then you want to be more deliberate. So you want to be like, bang, 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 right? To get into programming. But once you're in programming, you want to be more like, bing, 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 okay? Okay. Um, that's very important and you don't need to be, um, you don't need to be exact when you're getting into programming, 
But once you're in programming, you do need to be exact with the number of taps. So, this driver has programming mode, and then it has a main menu, essentially, right? Where you can do mode lock, switch between two groups, which is awesome. We'll talk about that. You can set brightness. You can uh, change the special light feature, which can be a strobe, a constant brightness, which is just on, or a uh, beacon or a double pulse blink. Then you can add and delete modes. We'll talk about that. You can do memory, where you can either set no memory, you can set mode memory, or you can set what they're calling short cycle memory. Um, we'll talk about that. I'm going to go through each of these and, and kind of show you. And then 7 will get you temperature submenu. I haven't messed with this at all. But essentially, excuse me, essentially, I think you can set each mode maybe to have a temperature control. So once it reaches that temperature, it will ramp down, I think. I haven't messed with that. I don't know too much about it. So I do apologize for that. 10 taps resets everything to factory default. And 12 taps locks programming. But it does allow you to still use mode lock and switching between groups. And then you can obviously turn it off by doing 12 again. Um, so basically, it doesn't turn off program mode. Like, you can't tap eight times and then not get program mode. But if you went to program mode, you wouldn't be able to then turn off memory or add a mode or something. You would only be able to do mode lock, switch groups, or turn off program lock. All right? So that's all the information here. And then we talked about the 24 steps of brightness, right? So let's just start from the beginning to make this easy for you guys. Um, it, it took me a minute to get the hang of this, but I'm an idiot. You guys know this. I'm a complete idiot. And I figured this out. So I have great hopes for all of you. Um, I think you'll all figure it out if you just practice. I got really frustrated at first when I got this light because I'm sitting there tapping eight times. And then I'm like, I swear I hit it three times. You know, and, and it's like, I was just going too fast. And so let's do mode lock. What's mode lock? All right. Mode lock is where you want to only have a certain mode on. Let's say you're, I don't know, you're working on your car and you don't want to blind yourself and you don't want to use moonlight, and you don't want to have to fumble with tapping three times every time to get to medium, right? You can just set it to always be medium, but you don't want to remove all your modes and change everything on the flashlight. You just want to lock it for now, and then you can unlock it later. So the first thing we need to understand with the Dr. Jones driver is that like irregardless of memory, right? Whether you have memory off, on, cycle, short cycle, doesn't matter. The driver remembers what mode you were in last. And it will use that when you're programming, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. So to set the mode that you're going to change or affect, right? Not everything here is going to affect every mode, but brightness, mode lock, adding, deleting, those are going to affect a, a specific mode. And you want to make sure you have that selected, right? So what you want to do is go to it. So in this case, we want to choose medium, which is this, because I have moonlight, low, medium, high, right? So we want medium. We're going to go to moonlight, low, medium, click down, and now we've essentially set that mode. That doesn't mean that I have memory on because I don't like memory. So I don't have memory on. So when I click this again, it's not on medium. But the flashlight driver remembers the mode. So again, medium. Click on. Now that's set. All right. 
You could wait hours and it would still remember that that's what you did last, okay? And that's for programming purposes. So now, we wanna lock the mode because we're, we're working on our car and we only wanna have one mode. Or I'm handing this to my kid and I don't want her to blind herself, so I'm just set, I'm locking it, essentially. That's what you're doing, mode lock. So we're gonna get into mo uh, programming mode by tapping rapidly eight times. Once, and then you hold down after you do that. So you just tap, 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 tap until you start seeing it cut off. Once it cuts off, you're like, oh, and then you hold down and wait for it to just start flashing. Once that's happening, you know you're in program mode. Then we're gonna tap one time to lock mode. And what you do is you tap and hold. And when you hold, it'll blink and tell you that you've, it'll confirm your choice. So tap, 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 tap. Okay, see I screwed up and I didn't tap fast enough because I'm over here being nervous. So my instinct right now, this is a good thing to talk about. My instinct right now is just to keep trying. But I've now screwed up which mode I'm locking or setting, right? So I need to go back to medium. Click it. Okay, back to that. Now I try again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hold. Now it's starting to flash. We're in programming mode. I'm gonna let go and then hold in for one tap. Okay, I waited too long. My battery is dying. So let me switch this up. So what you saw there, actually I'll show you. What you saw there was programming mode also acts as a battery gauge. It's like a fuel gauge. So oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those blinks are telling me how much battery I have. So it's, it's, t it's telling you every 0.12 volts, I believe, that you have over three. Because optimal voltage or full voltage on a 14500, 3.7 volt battery is gonna be 4.2, I believe. So from three to 4.2, there's 10.12s, I guess. And yeah, that makes perfect sense. And so you have to count the flashes, right? 10 would be a full battery. So let's see what I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oop, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I keep, I'm not tapping hard enough because I'm over here like, it's just hard because I'm on camera. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so I actually have basically a full battery. I was just talking too much. All right, so that's how you can check your battery, and that's also, you can program in between that. But if you hold it until it goes through the full battery gauge thing, and then that light turned on at the end, you're out of programming. So I guess if you had a really low battery, you wouldn't be programming much. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's get back to it. We're gonna do mode lock. And I'm gonna try to shut up and run through this. Okay. So we've locked in medium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's blinking. Hold. So I tapped once and held. I didn't click. That's a click. I held. I did this. So I was holding down for program, and then I let go and then tapped and held. You could probably let go and then click, because it's probably the same thing, but I just let go and hold. So now, notice... We are locked in medium. Can't do anything else but medium, okay? So, that's mode lock. And then to unlock it, you just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one. Blinks, confirmation, now we're out of mode lock, okay? So that's number one. Number two, or two taps, is to switch between two groups. This is really cool. So on this group, I have moonlight, low, medium, and high, right? Moonlight, low, medium, high. Well, you could switch to two groups. So basically, you can have two separate programs on your flashlight, and then you could switch between those two. 
It's really cool. So you could have like a tactical setup. So instead of having to reprogram your flashlight every night because you want a tactical strobe with your first push, you can have that set up as a separate group. And then at night, you just switch over to that group. It's really cool. So the way to do that is program mode, two taps. So here we go. And whatever mode I have right now, it doesn't matter in this case because it's going to completely switch groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold. One, two, hold, and blink for confirmation. Now I'm in my second group. On this group, I have Moonlight. Oh, I have the same ones. So just to prove that those are separate groups, right? I am going to change the brightness on one of them. And then we'll see, and we'll switch back to the other group, and you'll be able to see that they're, they're different. Because right now I have them set to be exactly the same. <laughs> so number three here is to set brightness. So you're going to set the brightness for a specific mode or special feature. Because, this is important, this is the thing I couldn't find anywhere. No video explained this. When you double tap quickly, you get a special mode, which is normally turbo or strobe or whatever you want it to be, but you cannot turn that off. I was just getting blinded by turbo all the time because I, I click fast. Like the, the clicking to go through cycle modes, you really want to do this. One, two, three, four. But if you go one, two, you get into the special mode. Notice this, see how bright that is? And then look at this, it's a little brighter, right? But my second mode is this. Right? I don't know why it's doing that, like, it's almost like there's memory on, hold on. No memory, why is it getting brighter when I do that? It's weird. See, it's almost like it can't decide if it wants to go to the second mode or do this turbo thing. So you can actually change the brightness on that double tap mode, right? Like I'll show you. So I've just set this mode, the double tap, as the mode that I'm changing. And then we're going to do three taps for brightness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. And now it goes dim and then it will step up 24 times and you let go and then tap to select. So let go and tap and that selected it. So now you'll see my regular modes are still normal, but if I double tap, I get this. So it's a turbo button or whatever you want to call it. And I believe, you can also change it to a strobe, um, which is what four taps does. So let's go back. Well, first, let's switch back to, well, we'll do that after. So right there, I double tapped. I'm selecting this as my mode. And then we're going to do four taps, and we're going to select, I don't know, what do you want to do? Pulsing blinks? Let's do that one. We'll do four taps. So this is the first one where we get sort of a sub menu. So you have to eight taps into program mode, then you do four taps into strobe mode menu, then you do whatever taps to get to the one you want. So I have to do eight, four, four is what we wanna do. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, let me just double check, make sure I'm in the right mode. So there's that double tap mode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, hold. One, two, three, four, hold. Confirmation. So now, normal modes, right? But if I double tap, I get this oscillating strobe blink thing. Okay? And then you could change the brightness of that if you want. 
Um, it's very cool, everything you can do. So now I'm gonna switch mode, I'm gonna switch my group back. So now you can see that I actually have different functions, right? I have this strobe thing. So now if I go to two again to switch groups, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, hold. Now I've switched back to my first group, we'll call it. Low, medium, high, or whatever. And then double tap, see? I have this now, not a strobe thing. So that's one through four. Hopefully you're with me. Really trying to get this for you guys because I struggled with it so hard early on. But it's easy once you get it. All right. I went, I don't know what the hell I did here. All right, let's go to five. So five actually adds and deletes modes. You can have up to seven modes in a group, right? We have two groups that we can switch back and forth from. And then you can have seven modes in each one. So I'm going to switch back to that other group because I don't really care about it right now. I like this one personally. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops, turned it off. Oh, got lucky. What's going on? Oh, okay. One, two. I have no idea what I just did. I might have just mode locked. And I did. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is where you get frustrated sometimes. Because you're just like, I swear I'm doing it right, and you're not. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm doing, I'm doing like, I'm coming on and off. Okay, now I can't even get into program mode. There we go. One hold. Okay. Now we're out of that. That was touchy for a second there. See, so shit happens, all right? Let's get back to that one. Whew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Program mode. One, two, hold. So I accidentally clicked on that whenever I screwed up, and that's what screwed me up. So now we have oscillating blinky guy, okay? So now let's just say I don't like medium, right? I have moonlight, sorry, low. I have moonlight, low, medium, and high. And strobe thing. But let's say I don't like low. I don't like this mode. So click, I'm selecting that to be the mode that I'm messing with. Oops. So I'm gonna delete that mode. Fuck that mode. We don't like that mode. Nobody likes you mode. Nobody likes you low mode. Let's delete your ass. So you're going to do five taps to get into that sub menu. Then you're going to do one tap to add a mode. Two taps to delete a mode. And just so you know, if you add a mode, it just duplicates the mode that you're set on. So let's say right now I'm set on low right if i added a mode it would just add another low so then i would have moonlight low low medium high and then i would go to one of those mediums and adjust the brightness or do whatever i wanted right so i will show you that but let's go we're gonna go to five taps and then we're gonna do two taps to delete low okay here we go hopefully i can get it the first time one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Hold. One, two, hold. Double blink for confirmation. So now we have moonlight and then we have medium and high. Moonlight, medium, high. Low is gone, baby. We still have this guy too. Um, so now we're going to add that back. Okay. So we're going to go here to medium select it because what did i say it's going to duplicate that one so we want to put it between moonlight and high right you want it to be there the way they kind of tell you is it falls before the one you're on but really it just duplicates it right so here we go one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five hold one and that one tap added a new mode so moonlight Medium, medium, high. Moonlight, medium, medium, high. Okay, got it? These two are the same. And then we go to high. 
So now we want to adjust that brightness because we don't want it to have two mediums. So moonlight and then medium, I'll click here because I want to have something between moonlight and medium. I want to have a low. So now I got to change the brightness. So now I'm going to do eight taps and then three for brightness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold. One, two, three, hold. It's going to turn off and start stepping up. And when I get to what I want, let go, hold. And now I have moonlight, low, medium, and high, and strobe guy. So that's five. Six is memory. So memory is going to be like we said, no memory, memory, and short cycle memory. So the way short cycle memory works, as far as I understand it, is it'll it won't make you jump from the beginning. So like on normal memory, or it will make you, sorry. So normal memory works where, well, actually, I'll just show you, right? So what I have right now is no memory. So I go low or moonlight, low, medium, high, right? So if I select medium and click on, if I had memory, if I turned it off right now and turn it back on, it would be on medium. But it comes back on moonlight because I have no memory. No matter what I do, when I turn the light off, when I turn it back on, it comes on moonlight. That's how I like it. But for the sake of this video, we're going to do memory now. Regular old memory. So we're going to have to do six taps, then two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, hold. One, two. Okay, now we have memory mode on. So now if I go to me, uh, medium and I selected it, click off. Now when I click it back on, we have medium again. So you guys understand uh, memory, I think. It's pretty obvious. So short cycle memory is where you don't have to keep going through the modes. So for example, I'm going to set this to low. So now that I'm on low, when I come back on, I'm going to come on low. Then I have to go through medium and high and then get back to moonlight. Short cycle memory is where if I go to low. Oh, I accidentally went. See, this is what I do. I tap too quick. Okay. Oh, it has memory. <laughs> So ex exactly, this is the, well, it's not the problem, but so now moonlight, low, medium. So short cycle memory is where you click off now and then you click on, it's going to go to medium and then it'll go right back to moonlight. So it only remembers the mode that you wanted, but it doesn't make you cycle through everything again. It'll kick back to the beginning. Hopefully that makes sense. So we're going to do six taps and then three, and I'll show you what I mean. So do this on, what was that? I don't know, whatever this is. Hold on. I keep forgetting it has memory. I hate memory. I really do. So whatever that is, it doesn't matter anyway. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, so we're going to do short cycle. So eight, six, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Okay. We now have short cycle memory, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Moonlight, low, medium. I'm going to select medium. So now, normally, we would hit high after this, right? We'd get medium, high, and then back to moonlight. But what we're going to get is medium and then moonlight. See that? So if we start on Moonlight, we're going to turn it off. It's going to come back on Moonlight and then go back to Moonlight. I think I screwed that up. Hold on. I just hate memory in any sense of it. But anyway, here's Moonlight. So back to Moonlight. And I guess because it was Moonlight, it doesn't make you do it again. That's interesting. So here it's going to go this. Oh. Did it turn off already? Should get medium. And then moonlight, yeah. 
I think this switch sometimes, I think I like just double click it too fast. Like it just, I don't know. It's like, sh I don't know if it's short circuits or, I don't know, it's weird. But anyway, you, do you get it? Does that make sense? So here's high, come back on, see, I don't know. Maybe there's a time limit to set memory that I'm not waiting long enough for. And then back to moonlight. So that's that. Uh, temperature submenu. I don't really know. It just says another sequence of 1 through 12 taps selects the set temperature. So I guess that means at 90 degrees Celsius, it'll start going down. But I don't want to set it and then, because I just don't know what it's like, what it should be at. So I don't really want to mess with it. Um, 10 taps is going to take you to where it resets everything, which I don't think I want to do either. But I could show it to you, I guess. It would just turn memory off and it would, I don't know. Let's find out what it does. Shit, I don't care. I can reset up all my shit if I need to. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. Blink. So now we reset everything. Let's see. That seems to be. Oh, there we go. They added a mode in there. Wait. Low. Moonlight. Low. Medium. High. Well, it seems like. Yeah, see, this is back. So I guess the default is a moonlight, low, medium, high. That's what I like. Oh, and memory. Let's see. Yeah, see, I don't like memory. So let's just let's just turn it off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. One hold. So now, no memory. I don't like the turbo mode because I accidentally turn it on all the time. But then again, I just don't have another solution. I thought the double tap to moonlight would be good, but it just kind of confuses me. So I think I am just going to leave it alone. Let me see what my other group looks like. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, hold. Or switching groups. This one is doing weird stuff. I have no idea what's going on here. So I guess by default, the other mode that you get is just a like low and high or something. That's interesting. That's probably why. And then a double tap to strobe. I bet you that's why when I was messing around with it at first, and this is probably what happens to a lot of people. You're messing around trying to figure this thing out and you accidentally switch mode groups. And then you're like, what the hell happened to my flashlight, right? And it's really just that you switched groups and the default is this wild ass shit with the strobe. <laughs> That's great. So this is just tactical really, right? That's, is that different? Yes. So I'm going to do this, actually. I'm going to delete this mode. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Okay. So now I deleted that. So now I just have this bright-ass mode. And the reason I wanted that is I'm going to use this as a tactical scenario. So... If something goes bump in the night, I can pick this up. I'm in full on turbo. And if I double tap, I'm in strobing in your face mode. And then I can turn it off. So then I can switch groups in the morning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, hold. And now I've switched groups. And now I have my normal daily driver modes. And then you get ready for bed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you gotta get this down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My hands like can't do it anymore. 
One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Hold. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Come on. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Man, I can't do it anymore. Let me try it with this hand. I can't, like, do quick taps anymore. Man, I can't do that. Jesus. There we go. One, two. Hold. Okay. So now I went to bed. I'm in turbo or strobe if I double tap. But I got turbo right away in somebody's face. Bump in the night, right? Wake up in the morning. One, two. Hold. Boom. Boom. Back to normal mode. That's freaking awesome, dude. The fact that you could program literally almost everything on this except for get rid of this. I wish I could just delete that mode. How does that not work? How does it not let you just select that mode and then delete it? It doesn't. It's annoying. So the last thing I'm going to do is show you the prog lock because I haven't tried it yet. So we've done everything, guys. Let's do the last one and I'll get you out of here. So that one's 12 taps and that'll lock programming so one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve hold okay so now nothing else has changed but now if i want to change the brightness on let's say this mode one two three four five six seven eight one two three hold it just doesn't do anything it's not letting me do it because it's on lock. So to unlock that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hold. And now we can program again. I'm not going to actually do it because I don't want to. Um, I don't want to actually mess anything up. I got everything set up the way I like it now. So there you go, guys. That's how you program and use the H17. Is it the FX? H no, I can't even think. Come on. H17 FX driver. Um, this happens to be a Laulima Metalcraft Ion Slim. Big thank you to Laulima for uh, having an awesome flashlight that got me through this with you guys i'm gonna put this battery on this charger so she can get charged up because she's got to be pretty toasty at this point i'll grab a new one out of here and uh yeah let me know if you guys have any questions down below definitely don't put your glass on there um I know that it was confusing at first to me, but it's it's really not that bad. Now that you know, because an idiot showed you, hopefully you got it. But if you have questions, let me know down below. I am by far not an expert, guys. I'm not trying to act like I am or anything. I'm just reading instructions, showing you my experience, showing you how it works. Because you could tell it works pretty goddamn easy unless your finger gets a little tired and you can't bop, 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 bop. But the key is... Quick taps to get in. It doesn't matter if you tap 15 times to get into programming. As long as you do eight rapid ones and then hold down once you see the light turn off, you're in programming. So you can do 10. Like, you don't have to be like, what are there other than eight? You can just be like, bah, 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 bah. right? But once you're in, then you need to be more deliberate. One, two, three, four, right? And make sure you're doing... Uh, you're letting go and tapping and holding, not clicking. It's a tap and hold, not a click, a tap and hold. So hopefully that helps you guys. I love you all. Hit me in the comments. Hit, hit, hit the like button if you like this video. If this helped you at all, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if this helped you. I got a lot of flashlight content coming. I've got some in the already out there you can check and um i'm really excited about flashlights i just love it so i love you guys hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i will catch you later